what's up? Welcome to the show. This week we've got Mavis Staples, the Kings of Leon, Gordon Lightfoot, the Black Crows, and Billy Preston. And hey, stick around right to the end of the show to find out about our special music DVD giveaway. She sent me here, sent me here with her regards for everyone. If you've seen The Last Waltz, you'll certainly remember that moment at the end of the wait when Mavis Staples transports the song and us into the realm of pure euphoria. Well, 34 years on, Mavis has teamed up with another bunch of talented white boys who, under the direction of Wilco head honcho Jeff Tweedy, have produced an excellent new record called You Are Not Alone. There's some great chemistry at work between these two Chicago natives. A captivating blend of alt country meets gospel meets R&B that all together makes for some sweet, sweet music. And Tweedy's involvement pretty much assures this project will get the attention it deserves. Here they are doing the old CCR number, wrote a song for everyone. So all the people are standing a thousand years in chains. Somebody said it's different now, but look, it's just the same. Pharaoh spins a message round and round and through. They could have saved a million people. Reportedly recorded in a locked basement with an ounce of marijuana, according to certain blogosphere accounts, Come Around Sundown is the Kings of Leon's follow-up to Only By The Night, the massively successful 2008 release that thrust the band into a kind of unwelcome superstardom and remains the largest selling digital album in history. To say that all eyes will be on the Follow Will clan this fall as they start to push their fifth record is an understatement. In an age when stadium packing megastars are in short supply, the Kings are as poised as anyone to step into the role of biggest band in the world. Watch for their appearance on Letterman this week, and check them out here, playing the disc's first single, Radioactive, on Saturday Night Live last weekend. like every other month that the British Broadcasting Corporation puts together a performance-based music series drawn from their vast TV archive. And it usually isn't long before these high-quality shows are duly turned into homemade DVDs and posted online by music fans. The latest offering to hit the trading community is a four-parter called Singer-Songwriters at the BBC that, predictably enough, spends a good deal of time in that treacly territory known as Schmaltzville. We had joy, we had fun, we had seasons in the sun, but the stars we could reach were just starfish on the beach. Away, like a movie star who gets burned in a three-way script. To our Canadian eyes, the sight of Gordon Lightfoot performing his breakout hit the forlorn love ballad, If You Could Read My Mind, is a welcome one, particularly considering this footage hasn't aired in almost 40 years. Let's hope the Bee broadcast this entire concert real soon. Now don't kill me, but another great standout performance from the set is Billy Joel's spirited rendition of Piano Man. Suspend your judgment for a sec and give it a listen. Cause he knows that it's me they've been coming to see To forget about life for a while Show me how the sun shines. After 20 years, the Robinson brothers are packing it in, putting the Black Crows on indefinite hiatus following the completion of their current fall tour, 
one that has them out doing blockbuster three-hour shows that are half acoustic and half electric. Just kill me, baby. Yeah, it's hard to make up your mind sometimes. My angel, my devil, I'm thrown in my pride. Crowology is a double disc of newly recorded acoustic numbers drawn from the band's catalog, many of which are given new arrangements, like 1992's My Morning Song, which the band debuted on The Tonight Show just before the tour started in August. Billy Preston, that musical wonderkind who recorded with the Beatles, the Stones, and pretty much everyone in between, saw his song Nothing From Nothing hit the number one spot this week in 1972. Preston also made musical history when he performed the song on the very first episode of Saturday Night Live in October 1975. Lorne Michaels had tried and failed to get Stevie Wonder, and by all accounts, the very first live rock and roll recording in Studio 8H at 30 Rock was a technically complex and chaotic affair, but none of that comes through in this splendid performance. I'm a soldier in the war on poverty, yes I am. Our friends at Universal Music and Warner Music have very kindly provided a few copies of some hot new music DVD releases that we're going to be giving away to some lucky viewers at the end of the month. All you have to do for your chance to win is sign up for our email newsletter, which you can do at rockpeaks.com promo. I'm Barnaby Marshall. We'll see you next time on Rock Peaks.